Greetings, beloved brothers and sisters. If you look around at your circumstances and the conditions in which you find yourself, it's quite possible that you may have the thought, this isn't it. This isn't what I want. And you start thinking of things that you do want. And you say, these are things I want. Like I want a different house and I want a different partner and I want to be happier than I am. And I want to have things I don't currently have. And without realizing it, you're really saying, I am completely impotent. I am powerless because I'm living what I don't want. What I do want hasn't gotten here. I'm sure when it does get here, I'll be a lot happier. It takes a lot of courage and maturity to say, regardless of how things seem, this is exactly what I want because I am all powerful and I have created everything I'm looking at. So obviously this is my intention. I'm saying this isn't it. And I'm saying I want something different than what I have. But actually, what you have is what you want on some level. And that's what you've manifested. And if what you want is to be happy, then focus on happiness itself, which is who you are, which is what you are. And then allow for the manifestation of that in a way that may not be what you picture. One of this one's favorite stories is about a man who's working in a factory and every day they take a break to have lunch and he opens his metal lunch pail and starts complaining about his lunch. And all of the other guys listen in silence. And the man says, oh, what have we here? Tuna fish sandwich with lettuce and tomato. How original. Very sarcastic. Then he eats it. The next day he opens it up and said, and he says, surprise, surprise. How creative. Tuna on rye with lettuce and tomato. My goodness. And this goes on and on. Each day he's more sarcastic. You're not going to believe this. You can guess tuna on rye, lettuce and tomato. My goodness. And finally, one of the guys says, hey, if you don't like what you're eating for lunch, why don't you ask your wife to make you something else? And his answer is, she doesn't make these sandwiches, I do. The absurdity of that is what I'm referring to. If you own your own power, if you see who you really are, then you know that for some reason, your life looks the way it looks because that is your intention. And the sooner you own that and love that and be curious about that and enjoy that, the sooner your life can change in the direction that you want. It's not that it's bad to look at things and notice that you like them, or even to desire them. 
But once you shift into thinking, that's when I'll be happy, then you've said, I am powerless. And those things can't come to you if that's how you set it up. But if you say, I have the capacity right now to be joyously happy, to be grateful, to be curious, to be fascinated with life exactly as it is, then you are setting into motion all the powers of the universe to bring to you everything you desire. Do not reject what is in front of you. Do not say no to it. Say yes. Just keep saying yes. And allow yourself to be happy now and see what happens. I love you very much and I'll speak with you again soon.